Hi, my name's Ellie and I'm going into my second year at Trinity College Dublin studying computer science and I get a lot of questions about Trinity and college in general but one that I get kind of frequently is about the course load for first year computer science students and also just the shift in the academic curriculum from American schools to Irish University because if you can't tell I'm from America I have an American accent but I went to university in Ireland so the education system is a bit different there than it is in America and it takes some getting used to. So I wanted to make a video just talking about my experience in first year and my experience with the Irish education system versus the American education system and um, computer science in general. So that's this video. <laughs> so the first big thing I would say that's different about Irish university education versus American high school education is the pass fail grading system. In America, if you get like below a 64, you fail. And if you get above, you pass. In Ireland, it's a little bit different. Anything above a 40 is passing and below a 40 is failing. So if you get a 39, you fail, but if you get a 45, you pass. And also for the first year at Trinity, at least, you don't really need to get a good grade per se. You should, you should try, but your overall grade for a first year does not go into your final GPA when you graduate. It's only whether you passed or failed. So if you did really bad first year, but you passed, don't worry about it. It's not going into your GPA for Trinity, at least. I don't know about other schools, but Trinity, it's not going into your GPA when you graduate, but it will say so-and-so passed first year. And if you fail, you're gonna have to retake it. You're gonna have to take some classes again. You probably will go talk to your academic counselor. I didn't fail, so I don't really know much about that. But if you fail, there will be like a process of fixing it. Also, there's a difference between Europe and America when it comes to majors. So in America, typically you can kind of go to school undecided and then figure out your major. And there are certain classes that you have to take no matter what your major is just to get the credits for them. And then you can switch your major a few times. It's not like that in Ireland. In Ireland, when you go to school, you're going for your major and you cannot change it. If you change it, you have to start first year over again. It's not like I finished first year, I wanna change my major, I'm changing it while going the second year no you're going back to first year you're starting over again and you're doing a different major that's just how it works and you're gonna take classes for your major there's not really gonna be classes that you have to take just to get the credit for it that have no correlation to what you're studying it all is gonna relate to your major that's why you're majoring in it so you can't really go to college undecided unless you want to maybe start first year over again another thing in Ireland is the I don't know what it's called but it's almost like brackets of your grade so there's not just pass fail there's passing with a first a 2-1 a 2-2 a 3 and then it's failing so if you pass with a first that's the highest bracket you can get that's like a 70 and above you get a first if your grade is a, a 60 through 69 I guess then that's a 2 1 so it's the next bracket and if it's a 50 through 59 that's a 2 2 if it's a 40 through 49 that's a 3 a third whatever, that's the lowest passing bracket you can get into, and then it's failing. So I'm not exactly sure on your transcript, because as I said, your um, first year grade does not go into your GPA. It just says if you passed or failed. I'm not exactly sure if it'll say passed with a first or if it'll just say passed. If you want, I would recommend you try and get a first or a two one because those are like the best you can do and it will look good either way. That means that you really understood the assignment. But it also is different from course to course, like what people's grades generally are. For computer science, it's not a lot of essays. It's a lot of coding, obviously, and math and continuous assessment. There are some courses where, there's some um, modules, which are the classes that you take, like math one would be a module, computing would be another module, that's what they call it. There are some modules where it's not continuous assessment, but most of them it is, so every week or so you'll get a new assignment that you have to hand in on time. And for the programming classes where you're doing coding and whatnot, you can usually submit your assignment a few times. So you definitely could get a 100 because you'll have like five tries to submit or infinite tries to submit before the deadline. So in computer science, it is definitely possible for you to get like a 90 or a 100 overall. And it's, it's not that hard. You just have to put in the effort. Whereas for other courses like English or something, it's not continuous assessment. You're just going to have essays that you write at the end of the semester and you have to do good on those essays because that's where your entire grade comes from. So it's a little bit different and you're really not going to get 100 in English. Like you, you could get 100 in computer science, you're not going to get 100 in English because it's essays and essays are great 
graded off of what the teacher thinks. There's not like a right or wrong, there's whatever they think is best. So it really depends what course you take for what your final grade is potentially gonna be. Just to continue off of that, getting a 70 in English is like really, really good. Getting a 70 in computer science would be less good. It's still great, it's still a first, but it's way more achievable than getting a 70 in English. So it really depends what course you're taking for what you should expect to be getting. And I'd say talk to your peers, talk to other people in your classes to see what they're generally getting, what the general consensus is, in order to know where you should be aiming of what's like possible to achieve. Another difference just for college in general is that you're not gonna have classes all day, every day, like you may have in high school. Like in high school, you know, I'd go to class from 7.40 a.m. to 2.20 p.m. and just classes throughout the whole day. It's not necessarily like that in college. It depends again on what course you're taking, but there are some days where you may have off, you may have no classes. Other days you could have one class. Other days you could have five classes. There might be a four hour break period in between where you have no classes. Classes can range from an hour long to, I don't know, three hours hours long. It, it all depends and you definitely do have to put an effort outside of class too if you really want to get the top marks. But I'd say it's definitely manageable, like you can do it. It's just challenging sometimes to balance your social life and your academic life, especially first year because you're figuring it out, you're trying to make friends, you don't know a lot of people yet. It's definitely a challenge, but I would say have fun, don't stress too much about your grades. It's first year, everyone understands that if you don't do the best, you're still adjusting, like it, it's okay. Just try, but if you don't do the best all the time, it's now, onto computer science specifically, because I have gotten questions on what the course load is like for computer science students at Trinity for first year. I would say it definitely can be a lot, especially compared to some other courses because it is continuous assessment. So every week you're gonna have multiple things due. So you do have to be on top of that. And I would not recommend waiting until last minute to do most of it because that's exactly what I did. I waited last minute to do pretty much everything and it gets very stressful. Like it can be done, I wouldn't recommend it. It stresses you out way too much. And if you do it like consistently as you get the assignments, you're on top of your stuff, you're gonna be so much more relaxed because you're not stressing out the day something's due. It's due in an hour and you haven't started it yet. You know what I mean? But like it can be done. I don't recommend you do it though. If you are going into computer science with no computer science prior knowledge, you're probably gonna be fine. Like I went in with basically no coding knowledge whatsoever. I'd done coding like one night. I went on some website and learned how to make like a box in Java. Java. Like that was it. Literally one night I spent like maybe two hours doing it. I had no coding knowledge prior to going to university and I was still fine. Like I still did good in my classes. The material is taught well and you can understand it. I would recommend you study it outside as well. Outside of classes I mean and take good notes, watch maybe like YouTube videos if you don't understand something, talk to your other students, reach out to your teachers if you're confused, ask them if they can help you with like extra help sessions or whatnot. For first year it's split up into two semesters. Some some classes are throughout both semesters and other most classes though are just one semester it ends and then you start a different class the next semester so in the first year you're going to be doing math classes coding classes there's like a um, electronics class where you learn about it's it's a bit physics esque and it's like um, circuits and whatnot. There's also a digital logic class where you learn about logic gates and whatnot. And there's a programming project where you have to work with a group of kids to make a program and then show it to the teachers. We took a um, computers and society class, which is about how computers are changing society and like the interaction between technology and the world. So it, there's a good variety of classes. You learn a lot about computer science. It definitely is manageable. I wouldn't stress too much going into it. A lot of people start without having a lot of coding knowledge and they do fine. There will be kids though that start with prior coding knowledge and you definitely may feel intimidated but I wouldn't be too intimidated because at some point they're also going to be learning things fresh again. In the beginning they might know everything but then it's going to reach a certain point where they haven't learned that stuff anymore and then they're also learning everything new again. So everyone will get on the same page eventually and I would not be stressed about people that have prior coding knowledge. Maybe befriend them though because they could help you if you get confused. I would definitely say make friends with smart people so that you can ask them to help you with stuff or if you're confused on something you can say hey I'm really confused how would you recommend I go about this? Obviously don't cheat but there, there's ways that you can help without cheating. That's my thoughts on the coursework for first year 
as a computer science student at Trinity College Dublin and a little bit of like the difference between the grading system between America and Ireland in general. So I hope this helped clear up some things for people. Hope you enjoyed the video. Best of luck to everyone who's going to university. Bye!